I've been watching all the humanoid robots being launched over the last few weeks. And yes, the two big models have launched from America. The last few days, we saw a brand new one. This comes from the car company, Xpeng or Xiaopeng. Yes, we know them as a car company, they make cars. If you're in the US, I don't think you have access to these cars yet, but you can certainly buy them here in Australia. So in their big launch video, they launched a range of new humanoids. Go take a look and tell me what you notice straight away. There's something fundamentally very different about these humanoids. In that initial launch video, there's a female, very feminine humanoid that walks out on stage. Her hips sway, her shoulders sway, and I'm saying her because it is very female. Xpeng have decided to make their humanoids gendered or sexualized. They have a range, I think, two female and two males, and their body is shaped as you would expect. They have the, the sexualized shape, very tight clothing. They move in the typical stereotypical way you might expect, or sort of an exaggeration of a female movement and a male movement. And it's the first time we've seen, I guess, sexualized or slightly sexualized humanoid robots. Uh, and it's interesting. It's a little bit frightening. If you've seen movies like Blade Runner, it's the first time that a humanoid moves, looks, and is going to sound like a person. They even have photos of these humanoids in human clothes, wearing headphones, and they really look like they blend in. So it's really no surprise that when people look at these, they can't help but see the exaggerated sexuality of these humanoids. And, you know, no prizes for guessing where people's minds go with this. Is this going to a future sort of of humanoid sex robots? Is this going to you know, overlap with the pornography industry? We don't know at this stage, but it was striking to see this different take from a very different company on this, uh, on this humanoid form. And it is something to think about. It is something to worry about. We've already seen the sort of pandemic of AI companions take off, how addictive they can be, how much people have had long-term in-depth relationships with their AI companions. And this is just with a digital avatar on a phone or on a computer. Once these move into these very sort of humanoid, biologically moving human shapes, you know, these relationships are just going to take off. It's going to go to places we don't yet understand. Uh, we are going to have replicants like in the Blade Runner films that will look and sound and feel very much like humans. And this is the first time we've seen a sort of a glimpse of that. I invite you to have a look at these videos and you just, you think for a moment that surely that's not a humanoid. It looks like a person in a suit. And even their CEO said that, that many of their staff members didn't believe it was a robot underneath, um, underneath the clothing. So yeah, interesting times. The other thing was really interesting from uh, their presentation was that the CEO stated that he didn't think these humanoids were ready for the house, for household chores yet. And how about the household chores? We often run into videos and I also excited about the vision because I'm kind of, kind of a lazy person. For all those household chores, I would rarely perform myself. Can I have a robot to actually do that for me? But still, we believe that it is still not viable. So they've actually put a pause on that program to launch them into houses yet. Unlike uh, Neo Robot from, um, from X1 uh, Technologies, who is ready to, well, ready to put orders in now, shipping next year. They are specifically designed to work in amongst us in our households. Interesting that this Chinese model, yeah, apparently the safety concerns were not there yet. So they're actually uh, pausing that program. Really interesting. 
Anyhow, I thought I would just point this out. I think it's an interesting new direction and, and it's also interesting that, that all the different humanoid companies so far are making very different robots that look different, I guess feel different, not that I've touched them. Um, they're going in a slightly different direction. And this one, again, this gender desexualized version of this sort of you can choose the kind of body you want on your humanoid is a completely new direction that we haven't seen yet. So stay tuned. It's going to be a, a fascinating, exciting to see where this goes, a little bit scary. Um, yeah, tell me what you think in the comments. I'd love to know your initial visceral, emotional, physical, physiological reaction as you see these humanoids, these ex pung humanoids walk out onto stage. Uh, it's absolutely a brand new world. <laughs>